All right, welcome to a new video. This one is looks maxing in 2024. And what does that look like? Well, I first would like to ask you guys a couple questions. What does your ideal life look like to you? All right, I'm gonna let you sit there, let you ponder for a minute. Like, all right, cool. I'm pretty sure you guys are like, ah, oh, I would like this car, live here, have this kind of girlfriend or wife. Now let's take a step back. And what do you look like? You know, I, I tend to feel like a lot of people when they ask this question, they think about all the wants and desires, but not who have they become. Because let's say you win the lottery tomorrow. You haven't changed. You literally won all this money. So that mindset you had there could still make you go broke, right? So how can you prepare yourself, you know, and maximize who you, your, what your potential is? So this is what we're going to dive into. And starting off, with the first one, I know you guys probably know this, if you know me, it's working out. Blinked and clear, right? Boom, we can move on. Well, no. Working out has a lot of positive benefits. Um, the three I'm going to dive into is first, you get to look better, right? Obviously, you know this, right? With time. So most of us get in the gym, right? Because we want to look better for to find like a girlfriend or boyfriend, right? Like we go in there for the women or for the men. You know, we want to find someone of our quality or that we're striving to reach for. And that's when the mindset shift comes into play. Because before I worked out, I, I'll be honest, I didn't care to work out. I had no desire. I didn't see the value. And so I just be like, I'm too cool for that. I kind of swipe it to the side. And I started hopping in there and I was like, oh, okay, this is, this is kind of cool. So I'm getting to a flow of things, you know, and I'd say the first six months, I wasn't as disciplined. I'd be spontaneously going and working out. But once I realized what I was doing to my mind, not just in my body, like I, I could tell I was starting to get stronger. I was starting to look better, but I started to think more clearly. I started to understand that it's not just about working out all the time. It's about creating that mental fortitude. And that's where I feel the real value of going to the gym comes into play. Now, another thing is you can create friends Right, and not just like any friends, but like-minded individuals. Friends that are on your same level, that, that want to improve. They're not hindering your growth. And what I really found, especially like recently, is like, oh my gosh, there's so many people that correlate with me. And so if you are able to find a social group, right, and you gotta you gotta put yourself out there. You can't just expect people to approach you, you know, because I know for myself, I'm we're just average Joe to an extent. You know, I've obviously built myself up. And to a point now where it's easy for me to talk to people, you know, I, and I think it's cool. I'd, I'd rather go approach people anyway, because most people are pretty shy when it comes to communication um, and reaching out, you know, and people get in your heads. I know I was like that, like, oh man, they're probably going to think if I'm weird or something, you know, whatever it may be, but you just got to go out there. Just do, be you. Um, and that's where like that positive mindset comes in. You know your worth and value. So when you think that you create that. But that's going to do it for working out. Now, I'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, so we're in the kitchen right now. And first thing I want to say is stop eating fast food. Boom, super simple. It's delicious. We love it. And I'm not saying you need to stop it forever. But what I'm saying is limit the occasion that you go out to eat. So what I personally do is I work out Monday through Friday. I do do Saturday, but I do five to four days a week. Um, I like to call the fifth day spontaneous workout day. Um, so going back to that, what does my diet look like? I'm really simple. I don't need to make anything crazy. So what I do, I do like ground bison, boom. And I do like fish, simple little bags. This is like just mixed vegetables. I do like steaks, right? So you can add steaks into it. And then I also mix in some eggs, boom, just large eggs. And so I mix that all together, make a little protein bowl is what I like to call it. But I also incorporate fruit. You all are going to be crazy in the comments and be like, oh man, these naked smoothies, they have so much sugar. I don't know. I'm 21. I don't care. I, I can handle the sugar, but, and it's simple. I'm getting my fruit intake. I do also take bananas and this is the crazy thing. Let me show you. I incorporate, so I take greens now. So these are the greens. If you saw my Instagram reel, you know, Gains Club is where it's at. Definitely recommend. And then this is my like ice away protein. 
Now, I take this once a day, as well as my uh, Fairlife protein, which I'll show you guys that too. So, this is vanilla, they do do chocolate. So, those are the two main ones. And lastly, I drink the heck out of coconut water. Now, all these things, all these things I've shown you, right? That's just my own personal uh, meal, right? Like how much I take every day. I'm not saying you guys have to do all this, but what I realized is eating better, right? When it came to eating the meats in particularly over having a high carb diet, like let's say I'm just eating a bunch of rice and like potato or like bread, that tends to slow you down. So I strategically chose to pick food that keeps me mentally focused, also just keep moving. Like I don't feel like groggy and slow. I, I'm able to kind of just like rebounce back and just create the meal as a meal instead of like, looking forward to it. It's just something I have to do, we're human, we have to eat. And what also started to happen was my skin started to clear up. Now mind you, I have a little acne down here, but when I was younger and I was eating like greasy foods, you know, with seed oil. So a lot of the other things I also do, coconut oil, right? And what I have realized is the oils and the base, the reason that these fast food things that we eat them, you know, it tends to cause me to break out. Like if I had popcorn or even like ice cream, I know it's weird, but it would cause me to break out. So if you're struggling with like acne or some form of acne, try changing your diet. Try leaning in towards more of a cleaner foods, like I said. And you don't have to do meat strictly. You can do like vegetables and stuff. But what I'm saying is stay away from like the oily based foods. Um, Cause then you'll just tend to have like clearer skin. You know, I know this camera can't do it justice, but besides like down here, like up here is very clear. And it didn't used to be like this for me. Now we're gonna head into the bathroom. Whoa. This is mainly about skincare and hygiene. Now everyone's gonna tell you, yeah, you should shower. Yeah, okay, brush your teeth. You know, normal hygiene stuff. Brush your teeth and floss. So what I'm gonna be telling you is skincare. Now, like I said in the kitchen, I had really bad acne. And I actually had my appendix burst when I was younger. And they gave me amoxicillin, and I would take that for years. And that helped clear out a lot of my skin. Cause I had like crater, I was crater face. As time went on, you know, my body got immune to it to an extent and it didn't really work. So what I had to do was implement like some kind of skincare, right? And I was like, okay, what am I gonna do? And so I did some research, was doing CeraVe for a while, but personally, my personal favorite is Tea Chanley. So you can see this, this is a daily face wash. They have a level one, two, and three. Now, no, this is not sponsored. It'd be cool if it was, but this video is not. But what I found was once I started incorporating this, like the first month or two, I started to see some like progress and my face really started to clean out. But not only that, my face, like every day after work, I'd be cleaning. So I do this every single day. This is daily face wash. I also have a scrub, right? Which you do this every two uh, times a week, non-consecutive days. And it kind of just cleans your face, kind of makes it smoother so that you look better. So this is like their level three, their highest thing. So the salinic acid is 1.6. Right, so it's not too like some of the other ones. Um, so depending on how bad your acne is, that can also play a factor. I also have eye cream. Now my eye bags, they can tend to get really bad sometimes. You know, I'll be staring at the screen, editing, you know, I'm not wearing my uh, blue light reflective glasses all the time, but this stuff does help. And then so I got that, my super serum, this kind of firms up your face. So I'm trying to show you guys this, you know. This is just recently, I just implemented this. This is a retinol stick. And so what this says is advanced skin revitalizing, you know, revitalizer. So it's supposed to just kind of help also enhance and clean up your face and bring back to life your, your face. And then lastly, I have like the daily like moisturizer for FES 20, for that sun. And uh, then I also have the PM, so this is nighttime. You know, I just rub it on my face. Lastly, they got deodorant. My personal favorite is the sandalwood. It smells really good, like, like sweet, you know. You know how sandalwood is if you got it. So we have that, and I also have that for body wash. And I also use this Manscaped scrubber, right? A lot of people, even myself for a while, I was just using my hand. Once I kind of went over to this, I realized like how much cleaner it actually gets, you know. And this is only like 10, 15, 20 bucks. So you can really get them cheap. You don't even have to get this. You could get a loofah. But what I'm saying is like, try not to use your hand, you know. I feel like I'm just doing a sponsor video. 
but Manscaped 2, so this is the 4.0, they got the 5.0 now, and then the, the Weed Whacker 2.0, you know, like look at that, woo! Get my nose, I wanted to clean that out, and then this is like for, you know, your abs to be more defined, as well as, you know, the hard to reach places. Like, that's some hygiene right there. What else? A lot of people I've seen, they have like the neck beard, bro, and it doesn't look as good. You know, you can define your jawline a little bit more. I know I don't have the best beard, but you're able to just bring it out that much more than if you just kept that growing, right? So you have that. But another thing is like people in their hair, right? Like you need to find a hairstyle that suits you. And another thing is how often you switch it up. So every like six months, I like to do something different with my hair, whether it's like this, I, I've been recently going with the crazy look and I'm digging it. But you also need to find like soaps and shampoos. Now personally, I use Pete and Pedro for that. So the first one is like volume, hair, you just put in your hair and it kind of gives more depth, more quality because I have super fine hair. And then I hit it with some conditioner, boom. So shampoo, conditioner, boom, great stuff. So what I'm saying is those three in ones, toss them out. Try and implement so your hair is healthier, right? I take biotin as well. Um, I probably don't need to. I just kind of do to little gummy as well that helps keep my hair healthy and my skin and face and nails all healthy. We're going to head back into the main room and I'm going to teach you about style. All right. So by now, you already know, start working out, start eating better, and start taking care of yourself better. Now, you've done all that. Cool. Now it's time to dive into your style. And I got a very simple style right now going on. I got some jeans ooh, with this little uh, like a black shirt and then a, a flannel jacket. But you can also do something where you need to start figuring out what colors suit you. Because everyone's skin types differently. And just hanging out with friends, my buddy says cream. So, so personally, like cream kind of really accents my face better. So here, like a cream shirt. If you're just starting out, I'd go with black, super simple, neutral colors, neutral colors, black, white, and gray, right? These are all very neutral colors, easy to match with black jeans, blue jeans. Once you kind of get that done, you don't have to go crazy. You can literally get suits as well. You get like black suits, gray, white, and mix and match. It's super simple. A lot of people, and it's crazy that I've seen, they just don't have no style. Right, at the bare minimum, you know, you get these, and then once you're done with that, then you can add some layers, right? So this is super simple, edge denim jean, right? This fan flannel, like I said, you could do this, you could do a corduroy jacket, boom. Something simple like that. Yeah, you got the colors, the jacket going, you know, you're looking good, but how else can I elevate that? Well, I'm really glad you asked. You could do something simple like jewelry, right? Start wearing a necklace. Now I wouldn't say start wearing like five or six necklaces, right? Maybe one, two at the most. That's my personal preference. But what I would say is just get a watch. Something simple. You don't need to get anything crazy. You could find a watch for like $100, $200. Some like a silver one. Something that's versatile, right? That's the name of the game if you are on a budget. Find simple colors, a versatile selection that you can mix and match together. So you're not out here spending $1,000, $2,000 on clothes, right? You can maybe keep it. 100 200 dollars right and still keep it stay fresh lastly you have where right, you have your style you got your bling bling on you got your nice little jacket but now little buddy is out there wearing colored shoes that don't fit his style you're out there wearing their adidas right boom on all this but what i realized because i used to be that kid i just wear the same shoe with every outfit is not every shoe fits every outfit. And so you can start to find stuff. A white shoe, right? Low top like this, no boots, right? And what's cool is you get different colors. So like I have this suede black and a suede brown, right? And then I have my low tops white, Air Force One. Mix and match all those depending on your style. I like to call it my active style where I'm wearing my joggers and my hoodie. My active dress, right? Like I call, call this more active dress and then my dress dress where I'm wearing like chinos and I have a nice, a nice white shirt or something with texture. That's another thing you start diving into is texture within the shirts. And then you can throw a jacket on top or depending on the weather, you don't need that. You got that texture going on there or like a trench coat. So when it comes to dressing better and looking better. Now, lastly, walk with a purpose. And what I mean by that 
is keeping your shoulders up. Don't slouch. You know, there's a lot of people that are like this. They sit like this or they work like this all day, every day, maybe behind a desk, maybe you're working or whatever and you're hunched over like that. That's so bad. And this is something I learned in choir when I was growing up, right? Like this is my seat, right? There's my back. Is you want to just be, you know, like that. And you want to breathe from your diaphragm. That also allows you is to give you open body language. Because I'll be honest, I'm sometimes very close. Like I'm like this, you know, I'm like sunched over like this. You aren't carrying yourself as if you have value. You're carrying yourself as if the world, the life is just crumbling on you. And it's just not gonna make you look like you're walking with purpose. And lastly, it's just being cool, calm, and collected. Don't let the outside noise dictate how you respond. And what I mean by that, you need to be aware of your situation, slow to how you react. Because it could be right in front of you. So instead of being like instant, right? Like jumping around, looking around, going crazy. You're taking on the steering wheel, aware of the situation. Oh, it's in front of me. All right, rear view mirror. Oh, we're good back there. Hit the brake. Oh man, I'm good. You know, you're not being a little kid. You know, you're, you're walking, you're purposeful, you're confident, you're calm. And that just helps you maximize your capabilities as a man. Any way, you're going to be able to reach this ideal life is by starting to incorporate what your future self would look like in that position. I can't tell you that, you can. You're the only one. That'll do it for this video. If you like it, please like, comment. And until next time, you guys take it easy. Peace.